Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to the beautiful city of Budapest here in Hungary. This is a city that I have always wanted to visit, but I've never had the opportunity to before. So I'm so excited to explore for the next three days, but I'm not just going to one city on this mini trip. I'm also visiting Prague in the Czech Republic, another city that has been on my bucket list since I can remember. So smash your thumbs up if you're looking forward to the vlogs and let's go explore. So I took a flight from Bristol this morning and got to Budapest at around half past 12. I then headed straight to my hostel which is the Wombats City Hostel. I stayed in the Wombats City Hostel also in Munich and it was fantastic. So, so far so good with that. Um, I will leave a link in the description to the hostel if any of you want to check it out. But first stop, food. I'm absolutely starving. I last ate in the airport probably around five or six hours ago. So the first thing on the list is to try and find some traditional Hungarian food. No McDonald's, no Subway, none of that. I really want to try some traditional Hungarian food. So uh, yeah, let's see what we can find. Hello, um, what would you recommend to try? Uh, duck leg, black sausage and duck breast. What's this here? This. This at the front? Uh, this chicken breast, uh, camembert cheese. Could I have one chicken schnitzel? Okay. And here. have here, yeah. Okay. And um, the fried cheese. So I've just finished my traditional Hungarian lunch. I had red cabbage, sweet potato mash, no, yeah, sweet potato mashed potato, chicken schnitzel and fried brie, which is absolutely delicious. Just the plate was so full of food, so I couldn't, couldn't manage to finish it all. Um, but I'm now heading to uh, a free walking tour. It's called Discovering Budapest Introduction to the City. So it'll be a perfect way for me to explore Budapest on my first day and to really get my bearings of the city. I've honestly lost count of the number of cities that have their own equivalent of the London Eye. Obviously London's got it, Dubai's got one, and now here in Budapest they've got their own version of the London Eye as you can see behind me. I'm just walking through the, oh, I can't pronounce that word. Utsabet, excuse my poor pronunciation, some beautiful gardens uh, just to head to the meeting point for my free walking tour. So yeah, I'll update you as soon as I get there. But for now, skip to the montage of the beautiful Budapest. Budapest is the capital city of Hungary, which is a landlocked country in Central Europe. Famous for its spas, unique cuisine and beautiful architecture, Budapest has so much to offer. So I wanted to talk a little bit about my first impressions of Budapest. Firstly, I really like the vibe. It feels like a very safe city, a very clean city with lots to see and do. My experience with the, uh, the local people has been really positive so far, especially when I went to get some of the food, I asked for some recommendations and they were able to help me. Um, so yeah, so far so good, I really like it. But um, yeah, I need to stop filming. I keep filming so much for the vlog, but I need to go to the free walking tour. So uh, yeah, let's go there now. Budapest, formerly two cities, Buda and Pest, is bisected by the famous Danube River, which is commonly known as one of the most beautiful rivers in the world. The free walking tour was the perfect way for me to get my bearings around the city. Our tour guide took us to many of the main tourist sites, such as the Hungarian Parliament, Liberty Square, World War II monuments, Chain Bridge, and the Basilica of St. Stephen. The tour lasted two and a half hours, and our tour guide was very informative and happy to answer any of our questions. If you're looking to find out more about the history and culture of Budapest, I'd highly recommend this walking tour. I booked it with Go Zeppelin Tours and gave a tip at the end, which is recommended. So I've just finished the free walking tour. It lasted around two hours and we finished at the synagogue. So I would have included basically a voiceover explaining all the different stops we went to and lots of information about the city. But now I'm heading to um, to go and have a, get to go on uh, basically a night cruise on the river, which is very exciting. Um, so I need to figure out how to get there. I'm about half an hour uh, away. Uh, so I'm gonna try and figure out the metro uh, or potentially navigate the taxis. I've heard apparently they don't have they don't have Uber here, but they have something called Bolt, 
Um, so I'm gonna just figure out in terms of logistically and how much things cost, which the better option will be. And uh, yeah, then I'm gonna head there and spend, I think it's an hour on the boat on the river, which should be amazing. My friend Crystal went on uh, a, a boat, I think it was last night, and said it was fantastic. So I'm very much looking forward to it. But yeah, before I get there, I need to actually figure out how I'm gonna get there. Okay, so I've just got a Bolt, which is basically an Uber, um, and it cost me around £6.50, and it was quite a long journey, more or less like 25 minutes, and now I'm at Dock 42, which is where I'm getting my boat from, although I'm very, very early, so I'm going to see if I can get an earlier boat, or see if there's somewhere I can just sit down and potentially have something to eat before the boat. Um, so yeah, made it, safe and sound, it was a lot easier than I thought it would be, and also quite cheap as well, so uh, yeah, let's go check it out. 